Okay, I'm back. Uh, and uh, I've done some more work on the Akira. Let me show you what I've done. Uh, I went ahead and glued the SMDs in place with CA glue, positioning, positioning them so they would face outward. And then I cut out several strips of styrene curved and glued them on top using CA glue. After I did that, <clears throat> I went ahead and coated the edges with canopy glue and have allowed it to dry. That's why it's looking more transparent, but you can see it there. The idea is to help with the, uh, the light blocking and light sealing that I'm going to need when I primer the whole thing. So the next step will be to um, primer this in black and then white. Uh, I haven't decided yet whether I will change the wiring around before primering or after. I may end up doing it before just so I can get a lot of these wires out of the way. What I'll probably do is I'll get a common wire that will be the A wire. It'll go to the A terminal on the board and a common wire that will be the B wire and each of those will do a circuit around and I'll just connect each of these wires after cutting it to that wire and then I'll just have two wires coming off one for A and one for B and then there's one for C over here those will be the three wires that go to the board from the uh, portions that are not resistored on the SMDs the resistored portions go to different uh, go to different terminals so it's just trying to simplify this because this isn't this isn't a very big saucer and all this jumble of wires is going to get in the way and I don't want it to create shadows when I put the uh, uh, LED strips in here to light up the windows uh, the other thing I've been working on is the deflector dish and the kit comes with a clear part and the upgrade kit has a blue part and I was switching back and forth between the two finally what I decided to do was and I tried blue LEDs and I tried white LEDs and I tried hazing them and non-hazed and after several combinations seeing as how the uh, the effect that you want to achieve let me see if I can find a, a shot of the uh, deflector dish so you guys get an idea Here's a good one right here. The deflector dish has a, a darker spot in the center and sort of white spokes and then a blue haze on the outside. Now I can't exactly achieve that but uh, I've come close by taking the blue one and painting the center with blue Tamiya. Not the clear blue, but the regular dark blue. Uh, regular blue Tamiya. Which is somewhat opaque to, to light, but will look blue when you look at the kit. And the reason I want it to look blue is because the only, the only model of this that I've seen not lit is the, uh, the one from Eagle Moss and the dish is blue. Now that doesn't mean that's the way it's supposed to look, but that's close enough for me for a reference since this is such a difficult kit to find online other than CGI renderings it was never built as a model an actual studio model so I'm gonna assume that when it's off it's supposed to be blue and when it's on it's supposed to come close to what I just showed you so based on that let me see if I can show you guys the color obviously gets washed out in the camera a bit but as you can see there's a dark center and then brightness towards the outside with a, an outside blue um, rim which is similar to what what uh, is shown on the pictures and this actually looks a lot better in person and a lot closer to the picture I just showed you so I'm happy that this is the effect I want to create. I'll have it at about this distance and I'll have to uh, aim it just right but at least I won't have to do a light box because it'll be a white LED just like the rest of the uh, 
LED strips that'll be in here. I'll just try and direct the light so it doesn't look too obvious on the windows, but I think it'll work very nicely. And that's how I'll do the deflector dish. <clears throat> anyway, I'm moving right along on this uh, build. I'm, I'm happy with everything so far. Uh, I think I've also figured out a way of putting in the nav lights on the edges of the uh, saucer, but uh, I'll talk about that when I have a better, more fleshed out idea. But suffice it to say, I'm thinking of uh, using the tiny SMDs, the 40, um, what are the numbers anyway? I had them around here. 405s, I think, or 402s. The smallest ones that uh, Jerry sells over at HCA Model Works. They're very tiny, and I might be able to sandwich them in between the two halves of the saucer to, uh, to create the nav lights in the center like I want them, not, not in the front like I've seen some builds do. Um, it's just a question of getting them symmetrical on both the top and the bottom. This kit is a little asymmetrical, but not as bad as I thought it would. The features on the top don't line up with the features on the bottom as well as, as they should. But still, it's not as bad as I thought, so I think I'll be able to get away with it as long as I can sandwich those SMDs in here. There's not a lot of space once you put the two saucer, ha saucer halves together. Uh, in fact, there's practically no space here, so it's, it'll be a challenge. I may have to grind out some resin to make space for the SMDs, but I'll figure something out. Anyway, that's, that's my update for now, uh, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm Armando here again. Quick update on my Akira. I've gone ahead and masked off the uh, phaser array, and I've been working on trying to reproduce the spotlight effect that, I, that you see on some of the CGI models. Here's a perfect example right there. There's a link in case you guys want to check it out. It's a common CGI rendering of the ship. Of course, CGI lighting is going to be more crisp, but I figured I'd try. As you can see, the attachment there, the little detail piece is flat, whereas here, on the model, it had a little curve to it, so I figured, well, what if I drill a hole in the cent in the front and somehow get the light to shine through it. So what I did was I drilled a pilot hole in the top with a small bit so it would emerge from the bottom. And then I took a bigger bit and drilled just a couple of millimeters in, just enough to create a cavity there. And then using another bit, I made a hole in the front that was flush with the, uh, with the hull. Then I puttied up the top. The effect does work. Uh, you can't really tell. Hopefully this won't overexpose. Sorry, the camera paused. Hopefully this uh, won't overexpose too much. Let me see if I can demonstrate for you guys. Okay. A lot of overexposure as I figured, but if you look at the uh, the tape on the phaser array, you can tell that there is light shining forward. And I did put a piece of tape here to simulate the decal, so I am going to get some illumination. Now, the idea is to light block as much as I can so the light emerges only from the front. Let me remove the light so you guys can... Well, okay. You can see right there, I'm moving the SMD around. The idea is to light block everything except the hole in the front. Now there's there's white on the inside, so the light will simply shine out the front and it will give me a spotlight effect. It won't be as sharp as the one on the screen, but that's okay. This isn't a CGI model after all. Anyway, that's what I'm working on tonight and I'll also be working on the nav lights on, on both sides of the saucer. And when I come up with a way of doing that and when I do what I do, I'll show you guys. So talk to you soon. Well again guys, Armando here with another upgrade of my Akira and uh, I've been working diligently on it for the past uh, couple of weeks. Um, I've gotten a lot done. I don't know if I'll get this thing done before the end of September uh, given that my plans were so ambitious but I'll give it a shot. Anyway, let me tell you what I've been doing. 
I finally settled on a hull color that was basically a gray with a tinge of blue in it. I uh, mixed some white uh, to the bottom of a Dixie cup, as I usually do, with, uh, with a couple of drops of black to create a light gray, and then I added a couple of blue, uh, a couple of drops of blue to give it a slight bluish tinge, and I came up with this tonality, which I really like. Uh, I think in combination with the detail and Aztec uh, decals that come with it, uh, it'll it'll give the ship a nice appearance. Um, that's the bridge, and I've assembled it. And there are pictures on my SFMA thread, which will detail exactly what I did. But I can go ahead and describe to you what I did uh, after light blocking on the inside and the windows having been drilled. I went back and forth on how to best achieve this lighting, the beacon lighting. Uh, I tried fiber optics, but the uh, nubbin that kept sticking out of the fiber optics would not give me a circular lighting impression the way I wanted. So what I finally settled on doing was was um, making the hole a little bigger, and after mushrooming a tip, the tip of a, I believe this is 0.75 or one millimeter fiber optic. I uh, cut just a tip off, which is what I've been doing with the uh, nav lights, by the way, and I glued it with some crystal clear, and then underneath it I put a 805 SMD, cool white, and then light blocked it with uh, some enamel black on the inside so that it's isolated here. The effect is very nice, very bright, and uh, gives me a circumferential lighting that you can see from the sides. I also put another SMD in there by itself which will illuminate all four windows very nicely and I've already tested it and it does look nice. Uh, then I glued the uh, piece in place. For the lighting for the support struts that uh, connect the saucer with the rear assemblies, after painting, I held them in place while I primered and painted so as to keep the white of the pattern, I went ahead and glued some LED strips there and in the parts that will go joined with the part itself. They, they go back here so as to illuminate all the lights and again the effect is very satisfactory. Definitely what I was looking for. On the bottom saucer I went ahead and glued the deflector dish with a cone of thin styrene supporting a 5 millimeter LED which I aimed so that you can see it from this side. The effect is again very nice. I removed the mask from this after some light sanding. I'm going to go ahead and paint this copper. I may or may not sand. I don't know yet. Uh, it was a little rough. I'm not too happy with it but uh, I think once I hit it with the outclad it'll look good. Last night I worked on the assembly that goes on top of the crossbar. This is a transparent piece that comes with the with the uh, the accessory pack. As you can see it's it's clear resin but I've primered it black on the outside several times. Uh, when you hold it up against the light for the most part it is light blocked. I'm using the same technique I use for the Enterprise D primering and light blocking on the outside leaving the inside clear. I used a Dremel uh, tool to eat out these things and that's where the uh, phasers and quantum torpedoes will emerge. I'm going to scratch those out and put some SMDs in there. I'll put red SMDs in the center and white SMDs on the sides. The red SMDs will be the photon torpedoes. The white SMDs will be the quantum torpedoes. I will hook them up to Ralph's board in such a way that I can switch them back and forth with a slide switch that he provides. I will not be using the uh, bicolor LED that he kindly provided because I have several sources and I wouldn't be able to uh, use one 3 millimeter LED to light them all at once. And besides, the lighting is going to be a lot more shiny with the SMD here. As for the rear photon and quantum torpedo um, outlets, I will not be uh, using the effect there, but I will scratch them out so that the light comes through and they look white because I am going to be putting an SMD in here. This is the part 
right here and this will go on top like that it's pre-wired I will cut these wires use one lead for uh, for the photons and one lead for the quantums uh, as for lighting inside this I will probably use uh, a bright 805 SMD and I will cut out a little trench and hide it along here along the edge and putty it so I can bring additional wiring into this assembly uh, my plan is to work on that tonight and try and get that finished uh, and if I can I'll get started on the nacelles which still need to be light blocked and, and such um, on the top saucer I I've, I've still have the, uh, the phaser array all masked off I've waited until today I will probably be removing that and seeing how the masking worked um, any imperfections along the sides I'll try and work with them and then I'll probably go ahead and outclad it with the copper um, oh also on the uh, the pieces that uh, connect the saucer with the rear assembly I've drilled holes where the beacons are going to go and I've decided that I'm going to use green and red uh, beacons not blinking navs for the rear uh, the rear lights and up front I will put two white ones one will be uh, always on and one will be blinking strobe um, and then on the nacelles I'll probably put uh, always on uh, red and greens well maybe not maybe I'll do nav blinking uh, red and greens for the rear and uh, always on whites for the front because the nacelles do provide um, uh, places for lights to be placed. Um, I'm having fun with this kit. I'm, I'm using a lot of artistic license and lighting it whichever way I see fit because frankly there's just so many variations online that uh, there's really no canon and the shots from the screen are so brief that uh, you don't really get a good impression of how the lighting is so I'm going to use my uh, imagination. Uh, anyway that's what I've been doing. Um, I'll be posting some pics and, uh, and such on the thread in SFMA, and uh, I'll try and keep you guys up to date to what I'm doing. Talk to you later. Okay guys, another quick update on my Akira. And I have completed assembly of the uh, photon and quantum torpedo housing, I guess, is what you would call it. This is the clear part, which I primered with black on the outside and then painted with a hull color. Then I scraped out the, I guess you'd call them the photon launchers, although they look like windows, but they're really not. From here is from where the photons and the quantum torpedoes are launched. Uh, I then carved out into the uh, resin uh, orifices and put white SMDs on the outside and two, two white SMDs on the outside and two red SMDs in the center so that the center fires the photons and the sides fire the quantum torpedoes. I organized all my wiring and I plugged it into the wires that go out that are pre-wired into the resin so that one side is the photons and the other side is the quantum torpedoes those will go to the board for illumination inside so I could achieve illumination through these I put a 3 SMD LED strip drilled a hole through here carved a little trench around there and then drilled another hole from here to here and I puttied the trench and the wire is out this way so the uh, assembly works very well it all comes together very nicely I have to get the wires in there next step will be to glue this together and uh, I'm gonna have to be careful not to repaint these things but if I do I can always scrape them out I guess uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll apply the primer on the other part 
and paint it before I glue it. That might be a better, smarter thing to do. Anyway, that's uh, what I've been working on most of the night. It's been uh, tedious detail work, but uh, in the end it'll be worth it. I think it's going to look great. Alright, talk to you later. Another quick update, I also drilled the hole in the lower saucer, as you can see, and epoxied it in place, and I've had this thing in an angle holding so that the brass tube is perpendicular to the hull and nice and straight and uh, I'll leave it overnight although it's five minute epoxy I'll leave it overnight I've uh, done the same technique with a sleeve brass tube sleeve which will rotate the smaller brass tube inside the larger one and a little tab cut out inside so that the tube won't slide through the top and out. That will provide my access to all the wiring to the base. I have also light blocked the nacelles, as you can see, and I've painted them white on the inside. Obviously they need to be sanded on the outside to get the excess um, primer off of them. So things are coming right along guys. Uh, finally making some real progress with some of the more complicated lighting. Um, okay, more to come.